Hello everyone and welcome back for another new exciting lesson on self learning. Before we start today's lesson, let's have a look again on tenses classification. Tenses it can be divided into past, present, future. Past can be divided into past simple, past continuous, past perfect and past perfect continuous. Similarly, Present can be divided into present simple, present continuous, present perfect, and present perfect continuous. Same goes with future. Future simple, future continuous, future perfect, future perfect continuous. Today I am here with present continuous tense. So let's begin. Present continuous tense, also known as present progressive tense. It talks about actions taking place right now. Let's look at its rules. Affirmative. A simple sentence. Present continuous tense always have helping verbs is, am, are. And remember, it's a continuous tense, so we always have ing form of the verb. So let's look at its rules. Subject, I, am, ing form of the verb, object, similarly he, she, it or singular noun, is, ing form of the verb, object, we, they, you or plural noun, are, ing form of the verb, an object. Let's look at its examples. I am teaching English. Now here with I we always use am. We never say I is or I are. It's wrong. With I, it's always used as am. She is going for a walk. They are learning a new language. My family is enjoying the vacations. Now here my family is taken as a singular noun, as a collective noun. So we use is. Is is used with singular noun. Next, my family members are enjoying the vacations. Now here we, have, we are talking about members, which is plural. So we are using are. Let's look at its negative sentences. Remember, negative means no. We only add here not to make it a negative sentence. Subject, am not, ang form of the verb, object. He, she, it or singular noun, is not, ing form of the verb, an object. We, they, you or plural noun, are not, ing form of the verb, an object. So let's look at its examples. I am not playing a game. I am playing a game and not playing a game will make it a negative. She is not going for a walk. They are not eating right now. David is not shifting to a new house. Birds are not chirping on the trees. We only are not to make it a negative. Interrogative that is question sentence. For to make an interrogative sentence, always remember if we have helping verbs in the sentence, we always bring it in the beginning to make it an interrogative. M. Subject I. ING form of the verb. Object. And of course, a question mark because it's an interrogative sentence. Is. He, she, it or singular noun. ING form of the verb. Object. And a question mark. Similarly, are, we, they, you or plural noun, ing form of the verb, object and a question mark. Remember to add a question mark in an interrogative sentence. Examples Am I disturbing you? Is she presenting her project? Are you completing your task? Are they arranging a party? Is he buying a new apartment? Now you can look at two things very common here. Number one, all helping verbs are brought in the beginning to make it an interrogative and a question mark at the end. Interrogative negative means a question and not. Remember, both rules will be applied in it. That is, 
helping verbs will be brought in the beginning and not will be added. M. Subject. Not. ING form of the verb. Object. And a question mark. Similarly, is. He, she, it or singular noun. Not. ING form of the verb. Object. And a question mark. R. V, they, you or plural noun. Not. ING form of the verb. Object. And a question mark. Helping verbs in the beginning. Not is added and a question mark. Examples. Am I not coming with you? Is, she, is he not speaking at the moment? Are you not taking any class today? Is he not submitting his project today? Are we not attending the meeting tonight? Now look at all the helping verbs which are brought in the beginning. Not after subject and a question mark at the end. Now let's look at the questions starting with WH. In present continuous tense, we also have questions starting with WH. Remember, those questions WH words comes in the beginning, then the remaining formula remains same, that is the helping verb, subject, ing form of the verb, and object. What are you writing in your notebook? When is she submitting her project? Where are you living this, the, these days? Why is the baby crying? How am I looking today? I hope you found this video helpful. For more learning opportunities, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up so that we can create more such videos in near future and hit the bell icon to get our latest videos. You can also share your ideas and queries in the comment section below. Happy learning!